This is a German Keller beer, and I think this is a very important beer style for you to try out as a home brewer, especially if you're getting into lagers. The Germans have been drinking this since the Middle Ages. I do think, though, that it's a little bit modernized version we are seeing today, but we will give it a go, try it out. Not, it was a stupid idea to record out here. It's freezing cold, so let's get in the shed, pop the beer, and of course, talk about the Keller beer and the history and uh, why this is an important one for us home brewers. Cheers. That's better. I'm Dr. Hans. This is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. So, the Keller beer and why this is important for home brewers. Let's just kick it. And if you are in the market for a childless opener, you will find this at my Amazon storefront. This beer would probably be served in a stein. This is not a stein. A stein is not made of glass, it's made out of ceramic. But it wouldn't make for good contents. Why didn't, wouldn't it be right up my alley picking a stein so I couldn't show you this important thing? Let's just break this down. The idea why this should be important for homebrewers so you can click off the Keller beer is an unpasteurized unfiltered jungle lager that didn't have as long conditioning time it's gonna be more complex with that but can you see where I'm going here does it sound like anything because who of us really has the patience to wait that long or take the cheat route and do the filtering. Be in the glass. And I think most, now this looks better than some other I've tried, because most of the Keller beers you see are a little bit too bright. It's not as dark as you see it. I think they were a little bit darker. I think it had happens the same thing with the uh, the Keller beer that happened to the uh, Oktoberfest, which was darker, Marison, and now it's changed out by the very pale fest beer instead. I wouldn't say that unpasteurizing and non-filtering has really something to do just with the uh, the Keller beer but nowadays when like all lagers are filtered and pasteurized more or less this is important because most homebrew lagers will look like this if you're not using gelatin or wait a very long time going down the rabbit hole of the of the Keller beer I have found a lot of you say information crashing. Also people saying that the Zwickel beer is just another name. I don't think it is, but it's very similar. The Keller beer nowadays I think is from like 4.8 to 5.3. I think they were maybe a little bit stronger. 5 is percentage 5.5, but then also if we're thinking back to the Middle Ages when also children were drinking beers because it was a safe drink course were like versions that had much lower ABV also. So this would be made from barley and it could be made from barley and wheat and as it's younger and as it's unfiltered it will be hazy, it will have the yeast left in it. I have actually recalled the yeast from uh, Keller beers I, and brewed an another beer with that. I can link down below to, to that widget so you can go and check that one out. I think this has much more carbonation and, than they would normally have because the Keller beer were conditioned in oak casks and yeah, probably fermented. Well, what, what, what other things could they have? But they were stored without the bung. So as this has no back pressure like you would do today. So it would be that would have very low carbonation. This beer style is from Franconia in Bavaria. In Numbergen, in Franconia, Numbergen is the second biggest city in uh, all of Bavaria. Munich is the biggest. In Numbergen, they have massive like beer cave system that they dig out. I think it goes down to as deep as 24 
meters under the ground and they are holding a temperature around 8-ish Celsius. Yes. It's a little more yeasty, uh, flowery. I would say a little bit more fruity also. Smooth, silky. Well, what kind of cool words can I come up with? I've tasted home brews that more taste like this than like the the crisp lager. The name Kellerbeer comes from that this was served from the cellar. Keller is the German word for cellar and beer is, yeah, you get that. So, uh, cellar beer. This was served from the conditioning cost where they have been conditioning for about eight to ten weeks, not as long as you would typically go with the lager. Yes, think of like the Oktoberfest when they uh, brew in March and serve at, at uh, late September. Yes, Oktoberfest in September, right? And the cask, they had no back pressure, they weren't bunged if they were not shipped. They, they would of course bung them if they were shipping it, but not otherwise. So all of the CO2 will escape from the beer. So uh, of course it was cold, it was stored cold, so it can hold CO2 much better like that. So it would be some CO2, but I don't think it would carry a good head. And yeah, you know, everyone loves good head. I don't think this beer would have it, and I think this is more carbonated, and this has better head than the original would have. The Swickel beer, I think it would be a little bit younger beer. I think it would be uh, a little less in uh, ABV, and also maybe a little bit darker beer than the uh, Keller beer. Swickel beer comes from uh, the spout. It's the name of the spout that they were served from. But there are some people saying that these are just two different names also. But the more I read on it was that it was actually two different beer styles. There were a third beer style when, when I researched this called Land beer, And uh, that should also be close to uh, the uh, Keller beer. This was a tough one. And I did find a lot of Swedish Keller beers actually. I have some in the fridge I will show you. But don't like start calling all your lagers now for Keller beers. Don't do as, as cheating brewers do. They mess up a beer and call it Belgian. No. Try and brew a Keller beer, but do also try to brew the crispest lager. Gelatin is your friend, my friend. Here's some Kjellerbeers I found. We have the Kallskär Kjellaröl Kjellerbeer, unfiltered lager. El Pondo Kjellerbeer and this cool can from Apex Brewing. Kjellerbeer, yes, yes, said Kjellerbeer, unfiltered lager. If I do get a million thumbs up on this video, I will go to Nürnbergen and <laughs> run through the caves naked. We're good. Sorry. I think actually in Nürnbergen they had 40 breweries at max when they had only 35,000 individuals living there. Population is a better word. To keep the, this beer cold they had special air flows. They also yes, to be able to breathe in, breathe in there. And they also took ice. This was common, but they, they sort up ice. Gently and then float the blocks down this channel to uh, the bottom of the ramp where I, I usually am the hooker. To keep the uh, the beer keller cold <laughs> at summer also. Uh, and they had this special air flow going through the, uh, where's thought out? Kellers to, yes, I'm saying keller now. It's me cellar, sorry. To force the cold air. So we're keeping like a temperature from maybe seven to 10 degrees. So this was lager fermentation and lager storing. I hope to go there someday. So give it a thumbs up. If you found these videos entertaining, it was probably flux. My channel sucks. Please do not subscribe. There's much better channels for you to go and subscribe to than mine. <sighs> Sorry, carbonated beer. Thank you for watching. I have some other bad content here you can go and check out. And for your channel members and the patrons, 
We'll see you behind the scene and at the Discord. Cheers.